Hello! Hi! And welcome back to our blind read-through of 2236 AD. We are still smack dab in the middle of the introspection storm that is Yotsuba's life right now. And the last time we were together, we experienced what I can only describe as a tsunami of his negative thoughts and trauma that have just buried the poor boy under years of pain and seclusion. And truthfully, I, I don't think we're quite out of the woods yet, but I am hopeful that we are at least maybe close to finding an answer that can maybe provide some type of forward momentum that will lead him down the path to a healthier mindset, a brighter future, uh, maybe giving a damn about himself and, and, and maybe, you know, um, a better hold on reality. So, with that said, let's just jump right back into things. Let's... Who oh boy. Yep, that... <laughs> him just sitting there definitely still kind of sums everything up. That's how you know uh, a scene's about to get even more introspective. You start with dots. So... These are the howls of a youngster who has been coerced into dreaming, huh? Step three. I'm also going to go ahead, and as I have been the last few episodes, I'm going to go ahead and move me back over here. Because I think that this game is still doing a lot of stuff with this bottom right area. Like down, down here, so... We'll go ahead and let that roll for now. I'll just be over here. You pay attention to the screen. Isolation. Doctor, what was it for you, doctor? Thus, an issue arises. God, I called that! I knew that they were going to be using this little quadrant down here. Science. Swift answer. You have been lost. Uh, like, have you ever lost that, doctor? Pursuit. Never. Swift answer. I see. Isolation. Science itself will never be lost. Well, that's, that's a good point. I lost the piano. At first I was just playing the piano because I liked it, but as I played, I got better and better at it, leading to my parents praising me. That led to me being taught by an instructor, improving my skills more and more, which continued to pile on expectations. But that really made me happy, you know? I was proud that I was able to meet the expectations of the adults all around me. Everyone was pleased by me practicing the piano and refining my skills. My instructor and father would sometimes give me the third degree, but I thought they did that out of having high hopes for me. That's why I tried as hard as I did. I tried, and tried my best to practice, all the while thinking how I could get them to praise me, or how I could meet their expectations. Bet a lot of gifted kids are feeling this one right now. Jesus Christ. There's so much pressure put on kids. That's a whole topic that I could talk about in the ways that uh, parents, you know, intentional or not, fuck up their kids. Uh, and it's largely a product because they were fucked up by their parents. Parents all kind of suck at shit, <laughs> for being honest. Everybody's fucked up in a little way because of their parents. Just kind of varies by degree. That's the reason I lost the piano that day. I wasn't the one trying to live up expectations. It was the robot. Yeah, I wasn't necessary anymore. I thought I shouldn't sit in that seat. So... It was almost as if I'd told it was almost as if I'd been told that all I'd done up to that point was meaningless, so I closed the lid on the keys. God, like I said, I know I know the gifted kids are feeling this right now. I know some gifted kids who had these types of expectations kind of poured onto them and 
Oh boy, it's not... Like, it's not pretty. <laughs> That's what happened, huh? Still, I I'm fully aware that I'm blowing things out of proportion. Nothing is really keeping me from playing, and thinking about it now, neither the robot nor I were playing anything to talk about in the least. That's why I also know that it's nothing I should be worrying about, yet still... You're still hopeless, aren't you? Yes, I've lost the piano, that's why. But you're wrong. It's not as if the piano has been lost, huh? You like to quickly blow things out of proportion. You see, the instrument of the piano itself and the people who play it are all over the place, are they not? No, that's not what I... You just haven't seen it. I just haven't seen it? Can you tell me what you see? I see... Is that so? The piano, the instrument itself, has never been lost. Have you noticed? What you have lost is yourself. Me. Myself. In my case, it was science. I tried to connect with the world through science. Believing in science, depending on science, betrayed by science, and I despaired. Before I realized what I believed might have been more, what before I realized what I believed might have been some might have been Wow the, man this script sometimes before I realized what I believed might have been been something impossible devoid of any value. That's what I thought at least. However, science will not be lost. Science has never been lost in the world I see. And science is still interesting. In the end, I'm still doing it even to this date. No matter where I go. Isolation. But this is different. Doctor, you were able to properly produce, produce results, so you're able to say that. Yeah, you, you keep isolating yourself and creating excuses to not try again. When, you know, you've got people that have, you're, you're kind of trying to push you in the right direction. And it's very easy to be blind to that. I'm scared. Of not being able to live up to expectations. So scared. Of the expectations I've imposed upon myself. You're the one who had expectations. But you found no answers there. Nothing at all. You were earnest, on the straight and narrow, honest, but you are a coward. That's why you were so afraid of breaking promises. You're frightened of breaking the rules. You can't become what you want to become. The fact that everyone is going through enough anguish to, become the, to, to, to come to the mentality universe is good proof, isn't it? The you that you want to be is not you. As long as you're still shaping what makes you yourself, dissatisfaction and anxiety will be birthed no matter what. The truth is, the truth is, however, you can't perfectly draw the line and there's no need to. There's no point in being afraid of that. The thing that defines myself, that's fear. It is. That is what has been propping you up. But it's okay now. Everyone is living in this ambiguous world, as you can see. Are you not the same? I am. Independence. Step 4. I shouldn't dream. I mean, as long as dreams remain dreams, they'll never come true. I lack what I need to realize dreams, so they remain hazy. I could have sworn that I stopped dreaming. My intent is to look reality straight in the eye and have a successful go at it. I just wish I could be honest with myself. That's why all that's left is to realize it. I believe that's different from evasion or resignation. 
There are times when only by realizing that you can't do what you're unable to do will you be able to do something for the first time. I can't sing, so I try to do it without making a mistake. Your field of vision will expand. You'll wonder what you're capable of, what you can do. Take a good look at the form with take a good look at your form without a shred of doubt. There will undoubtedly stand you. This is actually pretty poignant, I think. This is actually like <laughs> not just relevant to this situation. Like this is really about finding your own voice and what makes you unique and like like despite the fact that what you do may be something that others do um it's about finding what th the thing that makes what you do truly unique and 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 like people like it doesn't really matter if they like it or not like it's that's not the point it's like it's it's it, it that does factor, you know, that can't not factor into it, I don't think, because I think that's way too idealistic. But, 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 but finding your own voice and finding the thing that makes whatever you are pursuing, be it a job or a creative endeavor, finding, like, your voice in that is, like, I think that that's what they're trying to say, is that, like, that's what's important here. <laughs> because that's what makes you you, and, like, our boy's lost himself. The confusingly entangled time, right now, all starts to untangle. The world is confusing. You said it, kid! There will be many times when we make mistakes, as long as we're alive. The world is filled with things we don't comprehend. Nevertheless, the sounds made when I play the piano, the sounds that I hear, are most definitely real. That's right. Out of all the melodies played by all the pianists, this one is your very own sound. There you go. It's a sound that is mine alone, different from anyone else's. It's someone else's job to decide whether it's good or bad. God damn it. <laughs> what did I do, right this? Holy shit. Look at me, look at me being all smart and understanding what the game's going for. It's a matter of someone comparing it to someone else and making their decision. I can't make a decision. I don't understand after all. I'm in the mood to make a decision, but I'm not someone else. I'm just me. Yet I try to see what will never be without noticing the fact, hoping, struggling to chase it, falling down, Repeating the process in tears. I'm uneasy. I wonder if anyone will like it or not. Whether anyone is able to hear my sound or not. However, I now understand. Let me play the piano. Point is, that's the way, that's, that way is the most natural to myself. Doing so is a very natural feeling, good or bad, like or dislike. I'm sure that's not the issue. I press on the piano keys, produce beautiful sounds, and that makes me happy. That's why I play the piano. That's something extremely natural. In my case, that's what being me entails, probably. I was born to be myself, so that is the answer. Isn't that correct, Doctor? I wonder why I never noticed until now. Let's try again. Just like how we first met. One more time. There. Haru, can you see? I can't see it directly, but I can hear what you but I can see what you're seeing, Yotsuba. When I press the keyboard, it produces sound. I can't press it directly, but I can feel you pressing it, Yotsuba. There. This is the sound of the piano. I can't hear it directly. But I can hear you hearing it, Yotsuba. Oh, this is really smart. Ah! This is really, really smart. This is really, really good. It's a lovely sound. Yotsuba, the sound really makes you happy. Thank goodness. I'm glad you understand that. That's right. 
I love it. I really love this sound. What about you? I... I like it. You're pretty sharp, aren't you? So, um, Yotsuba, I want to make things up with you, Yotsuba. Make things up? Mm-hmm. I don't want to. Huh? I can play piano a million times better than you. That's why I don't want to. I see. That's true. Yeah. That's so Yotsuba. Here. What? Handshake. Oh, sure. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dad? Mom? I... I'm going off on my own. I see. I see. Thank you for giving birth to me and raising me. Say Otsuba. Yeah? Is the piano fun? That is a most important and fundamental question. Thus, an issue arises. Yes. Swift answer. Yeah, there you go. I see. You can go now. I will. Father, mother, my doubts, sadness, rage, envy, and dreams. Goodbye to you all. I've been freed from you. I am now free. No longer propped up by you all, I stand on my own two feet. You did a good job taking care of me till now. I don't know about the parents taking good care of you. Again, I'm not all about that always gotta forgive family thing, so... I guess that's kind of the only thing I really disagree with, but I, I understand that this is coming from a largely Japanese perspective and I'm pretty sure that like not disrupting the family unit and kind of always having your parents and you know elders holding your parents and your elders in reverence is always going to be a thing so but yeah it, it just ain't me because that's not my lived experience you did a good job of taking care of me till now with affection. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's enough. That's more than enough. Stop playing. I grabbed his left hand, stopping it. You shouldn't be playing like you're fighting against it. You don't have to try playing difficult songs terrified of making a mistake. We've transcended. Stop your continuing expectations. Let's play together. With the two of us, we can play anything. What should we play? Oh, nice. Let's give it a little listen. Very nice. <laughs> nice. I like it. With this song, it's the first time in my life that I truly appreciate music. You think so too, right? Yep. I had been carrying it forever. Before I realized, I had tried to push it back somewhere deep, deep in the back and pretend like it didn't exist. That was to no avail, however. I have to wonder, can I make it now? Somewhere, somehow, 
I had long looked for the day where I could enjoy things like this once more. Now I finally understand. I see. To be continued. And this may be a short one, but I think that that's actually a really, really good stopping point for this. Just a, a really good note to end on. It was, that was just, that was just overall positive, like, top to bottom that was a, a brilliant little end to that whole introspective sequence it kind of went through all you know all the parts of it kind of just went through this long like this whirlwind of just like all you know all the aspects of like that you know like it's 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 like a thunderstorm then you've got the calm before the storm and then you've, you've got this ending crescendo that just kind of breaks through the glass of you know the consciousness and 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 finally kind of like wanting better for oneself and i think that that's just super duper positive and again i think that like i think that there's so many like gifted kids that could absolutely relate to what's going on here in a way like i think that just creatives and gifted children like i think there's a lot to be gleaned just from like this portion of the story um you know, it's obviously like the, 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 everything that's happened up to this point is obviously kind of like the, 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 the results of having been pushed into this kind of corner and, and the way that you can isolate yourself and, and, and turn off the things that make you uniquely you. Um, and it's, 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 it's very poignant. Like I'm, I, you know, as somebody who has gone through a lot of these kinds of things myself, uh, creative endeavors and, uh, just kind of like having issues with friends where you feel like you're kind of just being pushed to the side and being silenced for being yourself. Uh, I think that's all just a, a lot of really cool and poignant things. And I think that we can also finally like look at, you know, jumping back to the actual narrative of the game now. I think we look at like what's been happening and all of the bad things that like Yotsuba did. Uh, while here, I'm talking about the assaults, I'm talking about the, the the rape that was depicted, none of that actually seems to have happened. I think that, like, that's just, like, that's something, that, like, it, it was depicted, and it was pretty ugly, like, and, and I know that it was meant to be, um, but uh, I don't think that he actually did that now. I think that that's where we're at. I think it's just kind of like, you know, our boy came here, like, look, like, look, our boy came here and just wanked it every day or something like that's basically what's going on in reality is he just kind of came here and had his Shinji Akari moment on a blanket <laughs> um, if we're going to be gross about it but um, I think that that's a bit of a relief too because boy oh boy I just you know there's certain fiction where I feel like it's okay you know you're writing that kind of story uh, you want to write a story about a monster it's okay to like let yourself kind of live in that headspace um, uh, but this was like, I, I don't think that this is that story. We're not trying to live in the head of a monster. This is trying to show something else entirely different. Um, and I let myself kind of get swept away by the fact that just like, even there's obviously a lot of things about the Haru situation that just are not real. They can't conceivably be real. Um, but you know, it, it, it's just how you kind of get pulled into the narrative and wound up in things. And I think that maybe that's a point for the game and being brilliant and being able to elicit that kind of uh, disgust from me and for it to remain as long as it did. And for me to kind of maybe like not have been using all of my brain to realize, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. I should tuck that away and not worry so much about it because obviously some fuck shit's going on, but... Anyway, I'm sitting here. I'm talking like way too long. I'm throwing out my thoughts. You're not here for that. You're here for the VN. So I will go ahead and get out of your hair. And when next we meet, we find out, well, what's the future going to hold? Thanks for stopping by. And you have a nice rest of your whatever. Bye.